Hey, how you doing guys? Lewis here with Fideva with a new segment that we're going to be playing out monthly where we look at some of the basic components of After Effects that can often trip up new motion graphic animators because After Effects, for as much as I love it, can be quite primitive in its nature when it comes to a few areas of the software. One in particular is 3D. So today we're going to have a look at how you can create a 3D ball, in our case a baseball, uh, inside of After Effects. Because when you see 3D in After Effects, it is a 2D compositor. So unlike Blender or Cinema 4D is that often the 3D object is still 2D, but has got some depth, perce depth perception, an effect, or something to it that makes it 3D. So we can see that this baseball is spinning throughout the air, okay, and we can see the back, the sides, it looks 3D, it even has the shadow and the light in the correct places. But if I take my camera, turn off the background a moment, and just rotate the sequence, we can see that it's not a 3D object, we can't rotate the camera in any angle and still have the baseball appear fully spherical. It is a 2D object that has a certain effect to it that makes it appear 3D. So in this sequence in particular, let's delete the camera. Uh, we're at the Cardinal Stadium. I downloaded this video clip from the Fedevo library. They near enough have every sort of uh, baseball stadium and football stadium available for your video clips. And someone's just hit a home run baseball flies out, uh, we enter sort of like a bullet tire, all of the cars slow down, the baseball's uh, velocity starts to slow down, and we can read an advert on the baseball that says only on Tuesdays. Maybe three for two pizzas, only on Tuesdays. Then it flies out the composition, and the, the cars kick back up to normal speed. You are more within your right to question the gravity of this entire sequence. It's a little bit gimmicky, Perhaps this is the type of commercial that one would see on a Saturday morning cartoon. But let's get to this aspect, the baseball. That was quite tedious to create for After Effects in 2024. So I like creating old uh, sci-fi inspired retro computer graphics. And one of my favorite things to do is to get a map like this. So I've got this from Freepec, this aquamarine world map in dotted style. I've got CC Sphere available, I drag it onto the layer, and now we have a 3D, fake 3D globe. And if I adjust the rotation, you know, we can change the light to how we see, change the intensity, the light color, the light direction. It's working in a 3D state and it operates as such. So how do we do that to a baseball or a football or a basketball? because these objects are already spherical. And if I take this asset, which again, I downloaded from Freepik, and I add CC Sphere to it, well, that, that does not look like a baseball. And in fact, it doesn't even join up towards the back. So I had the bright idea of what would it look like if we took apart the stitching of a baseball. And as such, I, come up with this. Let's delete that there. So this is the blank stitching of a baseball. And in my grand scheme of things, I thought in applying a CC sphere effect to this, we would get a perfectly round baseball. No, this is what we get. Even when we break down the football, or the baseball, sorry, in the same way that we would break down the map of planet Earth, it's not the same. That is the furthest thing from a baseball. And it's because we're looking at it from the wrong perspective. While that is how a baseball is broken down in real life, in After Effects, what we need is the full scale texture map of the baseball. So then when a CC sphere is applied, it's turned spherical in all equal manners. So thankfully, I was able to find this a baseball texture map from DeviantArt uploaded by the user Sir Hell, and this is a 2000 by 691 pixel image from 2008. So you may find it quite low quality, but this is what we need. And if you do find it low quality, what I would employ you to do is to download it, add it to Photoshop, 
and then we can go to free pick and download the baseball stitches and then replicate the texture map so then you can bring in a higher quality image so now when we go to our composition and i add in this image which is the texture map of the baseball and then add cc sphere what we now have is a fully rotational lifelike looking baseball and again we can adjust the light to how we need so it's not about making the original material lifelike as it would be if it was open and flat what we need is to look at it what does cc sphere need in order for this to become a lifelike ball and a lot of the time it's this open flat lay of a ball texture and again free pick has quite a lot if you want to create some um, footballs or you can download a basketball texture. But in doing this, you're gonna be able to create a 3D object to which you can then start to position and animate throughout your sequence, and it looks lifelike, although in my case, to a degree. Of course, the baseball doesn't have the same texture in and uh, the, the bump map of the stitches as it would if it was 3D, but if you are looking to piece together something like this, maybe if it's more in a cartoon-based environment, you now have the skill set in order to do so. Well, I've been Lewis with Fidivo and I'll catch you guys next week.